Hello everyone, this week's topic is lesbians, but before we get on to that topic, I just want to wish Caden Stockwell a happy birthday because his birthday was on Monday, so yay, celebration. So if we're going to talk about lesbians, we might as well first talk about why lesbians are even like a topic for this kind of channel, because you know, we're men, lesbians are not men, so like, why are we intersecting? Because a lot of times I've seen trans guys who are like approached with questions about lesbians, or if they would date a lesbian, or their life is a lesbian, or if they identify with lesbians, or anything about lesbians in relation to trans guys. They get very hostile with the question, they're like, that has nothing to do with me, like I'm not a woman, I'm not a lesbian, I don't know their experience, I don't know the experience of a woman, like that has nothing to do with me, why would you even ask, I don't understand the correlation, blah 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 blah, they get very defensive and are very thorough about like telling you why that question has nothing to do with them and how like why would you even think that they could answer that and I totally understand that it's true for some people that they just never had like any experience being a woman or being a lesbian and that they really can't answer your questions but it's kind of silly to me that they are trying to pretend like they don't understand why people are grouping these two groups together, grouping these two groups. Trans men and lesbians, like, there is a logical connection there, there is a cultural connection, like, it makes sense that people are curious about how those two groups relate. I mean, it's not as if someone's coming up and be like, hey, you're like a trans guy, so what do you think of sidewalks? Like, those two things, they don't relate. That wouldn't make sense. Lesbians and trans men, they relate. Trans men's. <laughs> But I get why trans men are trying to like disassociate themselves from lesbians because they don't want people to make that connection. They don't want people to think, oh, like lesbians and trans men, they're so connected. Like they're interchangeable because that's not the case. Like we're not the same. Yes, a lot of us came from that background. We came from that identity. Either we were forced into it or we were like really identifying with it, like strongly proud and stuff. But then, you know, later realized that it wasn't really us. No matter how that transition was made, lesbians and trans men are not the same. They're not really comparable, they're not interchangeable, they're just related. It's like if you had like a dollar coin and a quarter. Like they're both coins, well there's a connection there, logically you can connect dollar coins and quarters, but you can't pay with a quarter for something that costs a dollar. So maybe lesbians are the quarter and trans men are the dollar coin and then cis men are a dollar bill. Like dollar bills and dollar coins, they are interchangeable. They are basically the same, but there are some core physical differences in them, but they are essentially the same thing. Mathematically, you could say in this case that four lesbians equals one trans man, which is not the case, so this is where my analogy falls short. Also, lesbians are not currency. You can't pay people in lesbians. Anybody who is accepting lesbians as currency for a product or service should probably promptly set them free. Also, I'm wondering how they would collect interest in a bank account. And if you're wondering why the men are worth more than the lesbians, it's because of the patriarchy. That's a joke. Fuck the patriarchy. <laughs> but the point I'm trying to make is that something that you never ever want to assume or even come off as assuming is that trans men and lesbians are the same or interchangeable, because that's really never the case. Maybe one in a million someone's gonna identify as both. Um, I'm not gonna talk about that, but but generally you have to be really, it's really important that you understand that I'm not a lesbian and that butch lesbians are not men. But that being said, I think it is really important to recognize um, certain similarities between trans men and lesbians and embrace those similarities just like any group of people should embrace similarities with any other group of people because people unify over their common qualities and um, unity and community are really, they can be really beneficial to your mental health and, you know, just your happiness. And the fact is, there are instances where I am most comfortable around lesbians. And to be honest, I'm like Chris, I never identified as a lesbian. I, there was no really period where I was a lesbian. There was, there was me as a young girl and then, you know, then I came out as trans. I didn't come out as a lesbian. But if you're a trans man and you really don't think that there are any similarities between you and lesbians, then there's nothing to embrace. There's no similarity to embrace there, and you know, you don't have to. You're gonna have similarities with other people. And you can have similarities with lesbians on something other than uh, whatever their sexuality has given them experience-wise. Like, maybe you both like golf. Who likes golf? But if you're a preachy trans guy and you're with your girlfriend and you're walking down the street and you're not being recognized by society as a man and they're looking at you like you're a lesbian couple, there is a connection that you have with lesbians. If you are really butch lesbian and you walk into a store and someone calls you sir, you have a connection with a trans man. If you're a cis gay guy and you're walking down the street with your boyfriend and people are giving you looks like you're a homosexual couple, that's a connection with a lesbian. So, you know, people other than trans guys will have similarities to lesbians based on, like, experiences of the sexuality and stuff. It's not necessarily invalidating to compare yourself to a lesbian. I think anybody in the LGBT community can say that they have something in common with another part of the LGBT community that they do not have in common with somebody outside of the LGBT community, and trans men and lesbians, I wouldn't say I have more similarities with lesbians than I do with, like, gay men or bisexual people, but... There are definitely things I have in common with lesbians that I will not have in common with men or gay men or bisexual men or straight women. 
and that's something I can appreciate, and not really something that I want to distance myself from. There are so many other places I could have gone with this video, but um, I don't want it to get too long, so I'm gonna stop here. I think I made a point. So see you next Thursday. See you next Saturday.